Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I'm going to explain about our group assignment which is a merger and acquisition and our topic is going to be a merger between DG and Aziata First of all, Aziata is only famous known as a Cellcom and DG of course you know as a yellow color Both company, Aziata is only shared by Malaysian government which is a Cellcom under a Cellcom parental company and DG is owned by foreign company which is from Netherlands Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ms. Sarah Minta Bunasi Okay, I will present about company background of Aziata Group Berhad and DG.com Berhad Okay, the first one is about Aziata Group Berhad Aziata's primary business is in investment holding and the provision of telecommunication and consultancy service on an international scale. Their main focus being emerging market in Asia and South Asia. Formerly known as TM Inter International Berhad (TMI), the company was incorporated on 12 June 1992 and was the mobile and the international operation arm of Telecom Malaysia Berhad. TM. Following the image of TMI from TM, the company was listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia Security Berhad in 2008 on 2 April 2009. TMI underwent a rebranding exercise, launching its new name, Aziata, and a new logo. Okay, that's all about Aziata Group Berhad. Okay, the next one is about company background of DG.com Rahat DG is the third largest mobile operator in Malaysia DG.com Rahat commerce uh, operation in Malaysia in mid 1995 when it uh, launched its fully digital GSM service the first digital mobile communications service offering in Malaysia DG offers mobile voice roaming and will be added service on both prepaid and contract basis. DG is currently one of the leading operations in the prepaid segment, which is the largest consumer segment in the Malaysian mobile market. Okay, that's all about the company background of uh, Aziata Group uh, Berhad and DG.com Berhad. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nuru Shahira binti Ramli And uh, today I would like to present about the introduction of merger and acquisition Merger and acquisition is known for the merging of business by many forms of financial transaction Merger is a form uh, of arrangement between the two companies and incorporates them into one company Under the new name of the merger Acquisition is when one large company purchases or takes over much of the other company shares in order to have full control. There are five types of mergers which are conglomerate, horizontal merger, market extension merger, product extension merger and vertical merger. The reason for the merge and acquisition uh, is to uh, maximize and maintain their own market share. Okay, uh, for the merger of second MDG will result in, in Aziata receiving newly issued shares in DG and cash consideration of 1.7 billion from DG as new debt in the merger's entity. In addition, the new merged company will provide better network quality and coverage and have a greater skill to invest drive 4G a 5G solution catalyzes new, new growth opportunities for large enterprise and SME. Okay, it also can have a uh, control operating subsidiary subsidiaries in nine countries with a combined total population of more than one billion people and three three hundred million customer. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. 
السلام عليكم my name is Muhammad Azri Mandri we are happy for continuing the presentation I will explain about the methods of the module and installation of a data LED a data group braha and terminal and aja enough a major between sector a data braha LED.com which will make a large telco company in Malaysia the company entity of 33.1% will be called sector LED with the remainder by DG minority shareholder a data LED will bring together effect from the both party both company also have a has no force that of the staff. Sector DG will provide Malaysia leading communication service with revenue of 24 billion, plus synergy 5.7 billion ringgit, and 90 million customer. Customer DG channel position to be by a data current CEO Dato Izadin Idris and Sarkom current CEO Idham Nawawi for the forces the major acquisition. Take time from six years to year. Growth major the company new it will able to strengthen the core business minimally in the sector communication and trade of amenity established the large innovation center in the region. Ajata gained the three cent to four point zero one ringgit and DG at ten cent to four point four two ringgit a share. Beside that, cash stock we uh, offer we create a uh, 50 million ringgit company and be one of the top five list on Bursa Malaysia. Cap capital expenditure and operation expenditure saving of 8 billion over five year, serve 19 million customer and revenue of 12.4 billion ringgit, net profit of 1.9 billion ringgit and have 4 billion ringgit free cash flow. Check. For the conclusion, is, is going to be I'm going to tell you about pro and cons between the merger happened on DG and Aziata. Okay, uh, in terms of politics, there is a be uh, rumors. Uh, it's not a rumor actually. It's a uh, our previous prime minister that Sri Nadir Raza uh, are not agreed with the merger because it's going to be very bad happen to Aziata. And then uh, overall for the businessman like me, I will agree with this merger as DG and Aziata sign an agreement which is share, share per agreement, SPA, which is uh, Aziata gonna hold 51% of the company of, self, of DG and DG gonna own Aziata share by 51%. So by this, by this means that they gonna have and conquer and monopoly all the business in Malaysia, and of course when the merger happen, the stock price market is going to be increased. But the most important thing in this topic is they offer a share agreement. So DG got some share and Aziata also got some share, and when the giants company combine together, they will gonna provide. A lot of good connections and hopefully this is gonna be going to be a good news for Malaysian citizen which is we gonna have 5G soon inshallah and that's all for me overall DG and Aziata is a good merger and by by uh, method is share per price agreement SPA that's all from us thank you very much Assalamualaikum